Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Now, in the wake of everything recently, I've decided to take a step back and build a to-do list. I need a bit of structure, I need a bit of like purpose about myself. So just like the Jaffa Factory has, I need a list of things I can refer to so I don't forget what's important or get distracted by other tasks. And it was so easy in the beginning because well there were bees and trees to focus on, but now those are pretty much in the bag. Done deal, sealed and sorted and signed and fantastic. So we need to better structure what we're doing here, I think. Right, so let's get to it now. First things first, I'm gonna need some signposts and some wood to make this to-do list. Right, now I'm gonna do it in the style of, well, pretty much the same as how Lewis and Simon did and Duncan did the Jaffa Factory to-do list. So I'll need some wood. I'll oh, we'll get some nice fine mahogany planks to spur me on, give me a bit of motivation to get the to-do list fixed quicker. And I'll also use the mahogany wood as planks and sticks. Now I'm going to need a fair few signs here, so I'm going to need a fair few sticks. And there we go, 12 signs should be fine. Right, so it's time to find a place- oh, I still haven't fixed this hole in the road here. Sorry about this, Mr. Sheep, I'll get it done soon, I promise, I promise. Yeah, probably won't. Right, so I'm going to need to find a place to put down this to-do list. Now where's a good place? Well, I reckon probably right here. Let's put one right here, next to the, next to the farm, next to the pigs. So these pigs can take a look and oink at me and go, oink, oink, shen. You still haven't done this. Oink, 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 shen. Oink. Oh yeah, looking good. So let's just put the sign in. Right, to do list. There we go. Now, first thing on the to-do list is chicken coop. We need a chicken coop that we can put some chickens in because we've got all the farms, all the animals a farm needs except chickens. So we can't get any eggs and we can't get any chickens and we can't get any feathers. So we need a chicken coop that can probably harvest chicken eggs. Now we need number two, a kitchen. Now a kitchen is a place for us to combine all the ingredients that we get, like the pork, the mutton, the beef, all the wheat, the sugar, the walnuts, the cherries, all of that, combine it together and have, in a kitchen just have a place to make all these wonderful foods that people will actually want to buy at the farmer's market. So that's number two. Now number three, well, what farm is complete without a bit of old scrumpy jack? That's right, we're going to make a cider brewery. Oh yeah, oh, brew. brewery doesn't fit in, so we'll put cider oh, brewery on the next line. Cider brewery? Brewer who? Right, cider brewery. Right, and this is a place where we can go and we can crush apples, mix it with alcohol, and make some fine scrumpy in massive barrels. Oh, we'll have a, have a gale time, we'll just dance around, haystacks, all that stuff. Oh yeah, we can't have a proper shindig without some cider. So cider brewery is high up on the list. Now, can you think of anything else? Oh, of course, number four, upgrade apiaries to alviaries. And that's pretty important because at the moment we've got all, all our bees kind of buzzing away, producing honey for us. But it's not quite as efficient as it could be. Alviaries are better than apiaries, so we'll get some of those in. And that's about it. That's what I can think of for the to-do list at the moment. But let's take a look around the farm and see what's been going on while we've left it running. Now, I did leave it running for a while, so, oh yeah, check this out. The seed oil tank is actually filling up quite quick. And remember that these tanks can actually hold like a metric truck ton of, of, of oil. So if I right click here, oh yeah, we've got 92,000 units of oil. Oh, look at it go up. It's just going up and up and up and up and up. Well, let's go and check the squeezer out and see what's going on there. Actually, let's check the engines. Oh, falling off. Let's check the engines, make sure they're full. Oh yeah, they're pumped to the max. In fact, this pump is still on, so I could probably turn- well, I don't know, I don't think I need to turn it off because it's on, and the tank is still filling up. We're making that many walnuts, that many chestnuts. So let's go and check the squeezer. See what's going on over here. Whoa, look at all those bees. Oh, that's awesome, yeah. Now the squeezer, oh yeah, eight chestnuts, so it's good- oh, some more mulch in there. Now I keep having to siphon off pollen from the centrifuge, because if this gets into the centrifuge, well, it gets all stuck in the works and it doesn't work, you know. The centrifuge is set up to turn honeycomb into honey, but if pollen gets stuck in there, it gooks up the machine, and that's a bad situation to be in. Get it? To be in? 
It's a bad situation to be in. Not as bad as these bees, they're in a bad situation. Oh yeah. You're gonna be juiced, my friends. You're gonna be turned into DNA, bee gloop. In fact, let's see how much purple stuff there is in this tank. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, 24,000 units of bee DNA. So we can almost breed the perfect bee to put in our alveary when we upgrade the, the farms. Now, another thing I did was I added a couple more trees down here. I took some of the saplings that the orchard has harvested and I plonked them down on grass that's on top of, let's take a look. You see underneath here should be stone brick, there it is. Now I picked up some saplings and planted some extra trees on top of these grass blocks on the stone bricks. And that increased chestnut production by quite a whack. Let's go and see how many chestnuts, how many walnuts are actually being produced. Oh yeah, just look at them. Look at them stream out of there. Single file, rank file, like little army soldiers. Those things are trundling away, marching on down the pipe all the way to the squeezer to be squeezed into oil. Good stuff. And yeah, I think this is definitely renewable energy. This is 100% renewable. So let's go and check the quarry and see how that's going. Oh man, the frame's been built. Good stuff. Wait. Oh no, hang on a sec. This is... Whoa! Oh, it's dug all the way to the bottom. That's insane. Has it done that? Why has it done that? That's nuts. Is there anything coming through the pipes? No, nothing. The quarry's completed its course. That means... Oh no, that means our chests should be chock-a-block full of stuff. Right, well, let's get to the storehouse and make sure everything's gone through there and everything's worked because I didn't really test out my sorting facility that well, so I hope everything's gone through properly. Right, so first thing to check is metals and fuel. Now, ooh, I was kind of hoping we'd get a few more metals than this, but look at this. We've got tons of stacks of tin, loads of iron. Look at that, like four stacks of iron. I was hoping for more, but if we put down the quarry in a different place, maybe we'll get some more. Now, there's not much copper at all. That's a that's a curious one. Is this pipe set to ship copper here? Yeah, it is. That's very strange. Not much copper at all. Very well. And what else has gone in here? Gemstones. How many diamonds have we got? Oh, eight diamonds. Oh, that's fantastic. What else have we got? 26 sapphires. Loads of lapis. Lots of sapphires. Some rubies. Lots of sulfur. All the good stuff. Well, I was hoping for more again, but let's check the unsorted because I guess cobblestone is going to be jam-packed full. And so is dirt. So let's check the unsorted. Oh yeah, that's where I put the trees, but oh yeah, there's all these all these V's shards that I'll take out and put in the um put in the Thorncraft one. Also we've got amber here. Now that should be going through to precious gemstones and minerals. Oh, copper ingot. That's gone in here. That's strange. And so is copper ore. Oh no, there's something definitely wrong with our system. Oh, moss stone. It looks like we hit a dungeon. I wonder if we actually clipped the dungeon or hit the dungeon square on. I don't know. If the quarry hits a chest, I think it just destroys the chest and you don't get all the goodies that were inside. Yeah, there's definitely moss stone here as well. Got some water shards. Pick up that redstone. There's bread. When did it mine bread? That's a weird one. So I get these shards. More of these shards. Now we're actually getting so many shards that, you know what guys, I'm almost tempted to set up a little wizard's tower, a little bit of a mage tower. I don't know why we're getting all these ingots. That's very weird. Maybe these were in chests. Oh yeah, they must have been in the dungeon chest. Because yeah, oh here's, here's some chests here as well. Now, I'm not sure how much of this has actually just been unsorted and how much of it's actually gone through to the furnaces and the pulverizer. I'm going to have to make sure that copper ore is actually going to the right place. So where is... I've got two different types of copper here as well. Yeah, that's very strange. Very strange indeed. So, okay, I'll pick up that redstone. More redstone. This isn't being filtered properly, but that's fine. Just plonk it in there. And now I'll go and put these V's shards in the Thorncraft chest. Yeah, because I'm very tempted now to set up a kind of a wizard's tower. Now that I've got all this magic stuff, I can also make a minium stone as well now. Now that I've got all this magic stuff, all this magic vis and uh, and shards and stuff, I could probably set up some kind of wizard's tower and start getting into magic and Thorncraft so I can get golem helpers and get this. Mahogany golem helpers helping around the farm. Well, that's a no-brainer right there. I definitely want those guys buzzing around the farm, picking up my gear and fixing my junk. So I'll just put this in the gemstone thing, the amber. Now, oh, night's, night's falling, but I'll just go and make sure that copper ore has gone into the filtration system. And, ooh, ooh, careful. There's a rude dude over there, a purple dude with a bit of attitude. Better, get, better be careful. If I wander too close to him, he's going to zap me in the caboose. So I'm just going to check that this is configured correctly, then get to the house and have a sleep. Another glorious morning on the farm, and everything is ticking over quite well now. We've got a whole a whole bunch of stuff now from the quarry. A massive minerals and materials injection that we can use to just build whatever we want now. It's pretty, pretty sweet. 
So the to-do list says chicken coop. So what we're going to do, guys, is build a chicken coop. Yeah. Now we need a place to put it. So let's take a look around. Now I'm thinking of what I've wanted to put something here for a while because it's this kind of like, you know, dodgy bits between the mine. There's the animal farm over there. It's a nice place. So I think I'm going to plonk the chicken coop down right here. So let's get to it. So, it's a fine place for a coop, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Chief being tidying up the place. This area over by the mountain near my farm has always been a bit skew wear a little rough around the edges, and a little uncared for. But I have the resources now to make some really cool stuff around the farm. The power is done too, so we can forget all that high-tech shizzle for the time being, and get back to the basics, back to the classics, get back to some real farming. Right, so, Sapphire Tools out, and it's time to get busy. We need to tidy up this place ASAP, so with a shovel and pick, I chipped away at the rough edges of the mountain, got rid of all the exposed stone, and capped it off with a nice layer of dirt. I then smoothed the hill next to the airstrip, and thought about how I'd build my coop. Now I wanted a traditional small wooden building to house my chickens, just like you might see on a countryside farmhouse or, a, or just a house in general. So I used a combination of mahogany logs for the frame, mahogany fence and planks for the flooring and deck, and cobblestone for the walls. using those cobblestone stairs here and there for the entrance and for some windows. Now, chickens don't like it indoors in Minecraft, so I had to make sure these little dudes had some greenery to nibble on. That's why I decided to come away from the main structure I'd built on the right, using some leftover mahogany logs, and then for the fence, I used iron bars. Now, the peaked roof finally is made up from oak stairs and the cobblestone reaches up at the side. I may go back and change the cobblestone to oak planks and stairs, but we'll have to see how I feel once the chickens go in. But for now, the chicken coop is pretty much complete. And I'm pretty happy with the job we've done on it. Alright, so the chicken coop is finished. Now I've added one final addition to it actually. Check this out. A mahogany path and a back door so I can get inside the chicken coop and modify the workings. Now the way this chicken coop is going to work is we're going to have obsidian pipes sucking up the eggs, which the chickens are going to lay down in this coop section here, in the outside bit guarded by the grills. And then in here we're going to have dispensers that are going to take some of the eggs, just a couple, and shoot them back out into the yard to make more more chickens and then those chickens will grow up lay more eggs and the cycle of life will prevail on Stin's farm right so what do we need to make these to make this chicken coop work we'll need redstone engines we'll need a bunch of transport pipes we'll also need redstone torches for the engines obsidian pipes and dispensers so let's head over to the storehouse and get all that up and running and in my bag right so first up obsidian pipes obsid and where are the pipes there they are, obsidian transport pipes. Now, I've been told that if I press R on this, and then if I shift click the question mark, it will put R, all the materials I need to make the pipe, inside the crafting bench already. All right, great. So I'll make two of those to get 16 pipes, and then put this back in my pack. Now, next up, we'll need a bunch of transport pipes, and let's see. Oh, I had some obsidian anyway, so I'll just put those in the stack as well. I'll also need, oh, let's see, stone transport pipes. So I'll take a few stacks of those. 
There we go. Right, there we go. A bunch of pipes, a dispenser, redstone engines, and obsidian transport pipes. Now I just need some redstone torches to light these engines. And now it's time to head on over to the chicken coop and get all this stuff plumbed in. Right, so first up, the obsidian pipes. Now I want these to be kind of close. Now we're not going to get a maximum efficiency kind of chicken coop going on here. We're just going to have a mildly efficient one because that way we can keep it looking pretty but also keeping it quite good at producing eggs. So if we put the transport pipes, I think, down there like that. Now let's count these holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. So I'll need seven pipes. And I'll also dig down so that I can link those pipes up. There we go. And, uh, and everything should be great. Oh, no, no, where are you going, Fred? No! Come back here! Oh, no. Well, I'm gonna have to catch this rude dude and quick. But this has been Feed the World, and I've been Stin, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Today we built a chicken coop, did a to-do list, and we had a look at the quarry, and our seed oil manufacturing is well on the way. You can see it there in the background, oh man, that thing's almost half full, which is insane. That's like 100,000 litres of seed oil. So I've been Stin, thanks for watching this episode of Feed the World. Hit like and favourite, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for some more farming. Take care. Come back here, Fred, you little sh**.